So if you've been following me for a while, you would know that I'm not a huge fan of Oyo hotels, but here I am in another Oyo hotel. I'll tell you why. It's because where I am right now, there's a lockdown and there's not many options when it comes to hotels. So I had to pick this one. And uh, even though it is an Oyo hotel and I've had terrible experience, this is not too bad considering I, I got a deal for this room because this room uh, normally costs $68, which is crazy. And uh, so I got it for, I think about $15. So they have a deal or whatever going on. And based on my previous history on booking.com, I got a deal. So I took it. So I'll give you a little tour of this room. Um, this is the door. So for the Oyo townhouses, you have a gray color scheme. So even the building outside is gray. And you see this door, which is gray. So that's the color scheme for the, uh, the business hotel, I guess. It's mostly for business people and corporate events and stuff like that. Here's a little mirror. Pretty good, decent sized. Nice little chair for you to sit down. Little table for you to, for you to kind of like spread your legs like that. You know, you can just chill out. You can just sit here, make your business deals or whatever you do, you know. You can just be chilling here like you have a little phone here. Uh, yes, buy 10 million worth of Bitcoin, please. Thank you. What, it crashed? Oh my God. Here's a little menu, an overpriced menu for all kinds of meals. It says dial 100. That's funny because in India, 100 is the 911, which is a call to the cops. So you're basically calling the cops for food, okay? Oh wait, I forgot to show you the wardrobe. So I've been here for a minute, so I've put my stuff out. What the hell is this, this door? Damn. Okay, that leg was stuck there, but that's my clothes. That's some extra bedding or whatever. If you, if you got some pals want to crash on the floor, something like that. This is all my stuff, uh, except this one. This is a TV. It's not mine. Oh, they even got an Oyo branding on their TV. That's kind of cool. Uh, they give you two water bottles, two glasses, and a water heater. And that's it. Usually there's like tea and coffee and stuff in this, but mm, I guess not. There's an extra towel. Uh, there's the other towel that I just used to take a shower. Nice little view. That is the most incredible view I've ever seen. I mean, this view alone is worth $68, don't you think? It definitely is. But if that's not your thing, you can cover that up and you can appreciate this artwork. This minimalist cartoonist newspaper cartoon type artwork you got ac and here we have the bed the king size bed all right well, yeah that's where i'm gonna be sawing logs later because i am pretty tired and i will be tired later because i have to go out um yeah nice little pillows big extra soft cushiony pillows what else oh you got flip-flops you get complimentary flip-flops which match the color theme of the townhouse, the gray. So gray flip-flops. Right, let me put those on. So let me give you a tour of the bathroom here. Here we go. Pretty basic. You got your lotion right here. It's your lotion, your soap, I think. A uh, nice little sink. Here's your shower. Uh, it's kind of echoey, so I'll just get out of here. Probably terrible audio. But yeah, that's that's basically it. That is the the gray Oyo Townhouse Hotel. So just gonna line up my flip-flops. So that's it. And they have a little gray matching cloth that you probably noticed earlier, but I didn't mention. So that's all. And they also hold on, let me get in lighting. Let me get in some nice lighting for you guys. Okay, is that cinematic? Okay, got some cinematic lighting here, thanks to this. But I just noticed something. Did you hear that? Hmm. Okay. That's how you know this is a hotel for business, because you can't... Where's that noise coming from? Who's there? Who goes there? No one. Okay, so noisy bed. That's a con, I guess. So, if I was paying $68 for this hotel, I would not be happy. So, 
And so, but I think it's definitely worth $15 when you have a deal. So if you're a frequent user of booking.com, you might get a deal. Check it out, you know, especially when places are locked down and people are trying to keep their businesses open and a lot of the hotels are closed. They have continental breakfast included with this room. So that means I get to have breakfast. I'm here for two days, so I'm gonna be uh, having my breakfast here. I'll probably show you what they have in terms of the breakfast options for the $68 or the 15 bucks that I paid. So we'll see if it's worth it. Um, in my experience, Oyo hotels have always been terrible. I mean, that's just been my experience. I'm not saying that's how they, all of them are terrible. Usually hotels that offer free breakfast are pretty terrible breakfast, but we'll see. Tomorrow morning, I'll go get my free, or not free, free sounds cheap, your complimentary continental breakfast. That's what I'm gonna get. And uh, I'll take you guys and show you what it's like, if it's good, bad. I'm thinking it's gonna be bad because I've never had a good free breakfast, so we'll see. Usually you have to pay for stuff that's that you're gonna like, so. Except this YouTube channel. All right, so that's all from this Oyo townhouse hotel with the gray and white color theme. So I will see you guys at breakfast tomorrow. Good morning. So it's breakfast time. Uh, so when I booked this hotel, I had a, uh, it said complimentary breakfast, uh, complimentary continental breakfast, so, which I talked to you about, or told you about. So I called them, I was like, hey, where do I go for this uh, continental breakfast that you keep talking about? And they were like, oh, we'll just bring it to your room. I'm like, that's awesome. Um, so I was like, what do I get? They were like, uh, we have two options. We have, you could either have noodles or you could have a toast with tea uh, and that's it that's your continental complimentary breakfast well I can't really blame them because everything's in a lockdown so I guess that's their excuse but uh, here's the breakfast that they brought me uh, burnt pieces of toast uh, two burnt pieces of toast uh, with I think a little bit of butter and some tea you can't get more exclusive than that. I'll tell you what, that's my complimentary continental breakfast for this morning. Uh, it's better than nothing. I've got some chocolate chip cookies, not chocolate chip cookies, they're chocolate uh, cream chocolate cookies, whatever. I got some of those too. I'm gonna have that and uh, wait, let me, uh, let me do a quick review of this burnt toast. Let's see, I'll just uh, dip it in the tea a little bit. Mm, burnt. Hmm. It's not bad. It is toast. You can't really go wrong with toast, except if you completely burn it. But it's not too bad. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna have that. And I'm gonna have this. So that's gonna be my breakfast. I was hoping for some fancy stuff. I was trying to put on my fancy pants for breakfast this morning, but I guess not. I think if they, if everything was open, if there was not a lockdown, I think they would have better options in terms of food and stuff. So I don't know, what do you think? What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth it to have this hotel? It was $60, but I got it. I got a pretty good deal, but if you were paying $60, would this be worth it? I would have to disagree. But uh, since I'm not paying $60, I guess I can't really complain. It's pretty good for the price that I'm paying. So I'll just uh, go ahead and enjoy my breakfast here, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Continental breakfast.